you've uh, likely often heard that passion is a key ingredient for professional success. Now, why is that? There's many reasons why passion is likely to help you professionally. The first set of reasons is, is illustrated by the following quotes. A music composer A.R. Rahman, for example, wrote that or said that success comes to those who dedicate everything to their passion in life. And Richard Branson said that if you find what you're truly passionate about, then you'll find your career, then finding your career will not be too far away. Now these quotes illustrate what researchers have called the intrapersonal effects of passion. How passion influences what happens inside your mind that might then in turn lead you to be successful. And indeed, uh, research has found that passion, people who are passionate, are uh, more proactive, more engaged, more satisfied with their jobs, all attributes that leads to professional success. Now, this is only half of the story. There's another set of reasons why passion is likely to increase your success, your professional success. And these reasons are illustrated by this other quote from Richard Branson. When you believe in something, the force of your convictions will spark other people's interests and motivate them to help you achieve your goals. Passion, like a smile, is contagious. It rubs, rubs off on everyone around you and attracts enthusiastic people into your orbit. Now this quote describes what researchers have called the interpersonal effects of passion. How your passion influences the reactions of, of other people and those reactions in turn might influence your success. Um, in particular, expressing passion might lead other people to support you more. Seeing, seeing your passion will change how they think about you in order to support you more. Um, and I'll, in this talk, I'll be describing studies that my uh, research team and I, the research team is led by uh, Harvard Business School professor uh, Jan Yahimowitz, uh, and uh, former PhD students uh, Shira Agassi have done uh, in order to examine uh, what, you know, how passion might influence your success through the reactions of other people, when it might actually not be helpful, and when it might actually backfire. Before I go into the studies, I want to talk about, uh, cover how passion is actually expressed. So when we see, when we talk about other people showing passion, what is it that we actually see? Um, and these are what uh, researchers have actually found are the signals of passion, how passions are actually expressed. Energetic body movements, rich body language, animated facial, facial expression, and talking with varied tone and pitch. And in the studies that we did, we actually examined whether those people that express more of these you know, outward behaviors get more support by other people. And in the first study, we wanted to test this idea in a realistic setting. So we coded videos from the television show Dragon's Den. So in this video, in this TV show, uh, we have entrepreneurs who make real pitches to dragons, investors, who have the option of supporting them financially or not. Um, this gave us an opportunity to actually examine whether the entrepreneurs who showed passion through those behaviors that we just saw, where actually uh, had a higher likelihood, all else equal, so controlling for all other factors that might potentially, or many other factors that might potentially influence uh, whether they get support, uh, whether the passion actually is related to getting more support from one of these, at least one of these uh, investors. So uh, we coded, uh, we examined the videos, we coded five seconds by five seconds, whether uh, the entrepreneur showed the behaviors that uh, we saw on the previous slide. And we have a team of raiders who were able to be reliable in terms of their assessment of how much passion was shown. And then we coded whether at least one of these five uh, dragons made a financial uh, offer. And we found this relationship. So all else equal, so that's important. So controlling for factors like gender, ethnicity, whether the pitch was made by a team or just one person, whether the, which industry it was, whether the product or the service was uh, socially responsible and things like whether the people appeared authentic or extroverted. So controlling for all these factors, those entrepreneurs who showed more passion were more likely to get an offer, uh, a financial offer uh, from one of the investors. Now, why is it that we see that? Uh, why does passion increase support? Well, the reason that we, uh, 
found in our research is that people admire and confer status onto those people who show passion. They admire those who show passion because they infer from their display of passion that they um, are dedicated to what they believe in and are committed to actually uh, making this happen. So this admiration is a reason, is a, one of the key reasons why passion elicits the support from other people. It elicits admiration. And we found that by doing studies in which we had people think of a coworker who either showed passion or showed no passion. So we did this in an experimental way to try to see if there's actually a causal effect there of showing passion. And we found that those people who thought of a coworker who showed passion reported that they admired them more and in turn reported that they were more willing to support them. So admiration and the status, conferral of the status seem to be a key reason why expressing passion leads you to get more support from other people. And this study in particular shows that the effect is causal from passion to gain more support. When does passion have no effect? Well, we found that passion will not have any effect in two different, with two different conditions. The first one is when it's seen as inappropriate for the situation. So there are social norms that govern the expression of emotions, that it's thought to be okay to express certain emotions in certain contexts and to hide emotions in certain contexts. And same for passion. So passion is seen as more appropriate in certain contexts than others. And in our research, we're actually looking for contexts where, or jobs where passion might be more appropriate than others. And in our pilot study, we found that uh, people think, and maybe this is not uh, actually true, but people think that it's more appropriate for consultants to show passion than accountants. So we uh, had people think of a coworker who is either an accountant or a consultant who either showed passion or no passion. And the results are seen on this next slide where you see the height of the bars here is how, much, how willing people were to support a coworker um, who showed passion in the red bars versus no passion in the gray bars. And you see on the left that if people were thinking of an accountant, passion had no very little effect on willingness to support. And we believe this is because people think that an accountant showing passion is not necessarily appropriate. Whereas on the right side, a consultant showing passion garners more support than a consultant who does not. Another reason, uh, another condition when passion has no effect is when the, tar the, the observer does not agree with the target of passion. And in order to study this, we studied uh, people that were making pro-environmental pleas or talked about pro-environmental pro projects um, to either observers who were politically liberal or conservative. And what we found is that talking about pro-environmental pro projects with passion increased support compared to no passion, but only if the observer was politically liberal uh, because we inferred that these would be these people, these observers would be more likely to agree with the target of passion. Showing passion to a conservative observer did not increase how much support was obtained, uh, presumably because conservatives do not agree uh, with the target of passion. We did this in the United States with people identifying as either Democrat or conservatives. So we've seen when passion might have no effect, when does it backfire? Well, it backfires in competitive situations. Passion expressed by competitors is threatening and decreases support. So in our studies, what we found is that somebody uh, who shows passion is likely to elicit support for a promotion for a job when the observer does not compete with that person for that promotion. So if you see somebody who's passionate, you're likely to help that person if you're not in competition with that person. But if you and the other coworker are competing for the same promotion, them showing passion will not only have no effect on your support, it will actually decrease your support because that person then becomes a threatening competitor. So I'm gonna go to my takeaways. Uh, what our research has shown is that uh, passion is, is beneficial, not only because it affects how you think, how motivated you are, how engaged you are, how satisfied you are, but also because it affects how other people behave toward you. So it's, it does have this effect on others who, and their behavior towards you changes. Expressing passion that's authentic to others who are aligned with your position 
is something that can help you. The point about authenticity is important here. In other research, we found that pe when people try to fake emotions to try to get these sorts of effects on other people's behavior, it, it also backfired because people often can tell that these displays are fake. So it's important to express authentic passion uh, that, that you feel. Uh, ask yourself if, pa if the passion is appropriate in the situation in which you might express it. Um, so this is important because it might actually have no effect if um, the, the, the context is one where passion might not be appropriate. And finally, it's important to keep in mind that expressing passion to competitors might actually decrease their support. So it can actually backfire in this particular context. So thank you for listening.